Hey everybody, it is Hannah from Stonehouse Photo, and I'm going to talk a little bit about the presets that I have packaged together. A couple of years ago, I discovered that I really was using five presets in my whole workflow for Lightroom. I do most of my editing and culling, well, I do all my culling and editing in Lightroom, and I discovered I was using five. I put them all together, and now I can process a thousand images um, in about you know, a third of the time that it was taking me before because I have everything together um, and it's a really consistent look of images, uh, consistent look of editing. And I decided I would take them all and put them together and offer them to you all uh, to help with your workflow. Um, so what I do normally is I take my raw images, I import them to Lightroom, and then I go through, pick the ones that I want, and then I click on this. This is my most consistent Lightroom preset. Uh, it makes it pop a little bit. Some of the dogs, I tend to underexpose just a little bit just because some of them are darker and I don't want it to be too blown out. Uh, and then I go into Lightroom and I click on deep and the image is set. I feel like this is an image that's ready for my client. Um, and it was just literally the click of a button and I just clicked on the deep one. If I wanted an image where I wanted to tweak it, I can take any of these. I can up the exposure, I can up the contrast, I can make it less, I can do all kinds of different things with it. Um, these None of these presets are set in stone. They're whatever you want them to be, just like any presets, but um, you can bring down the highlights, bring up the exposure, you can play around with this as much as you want and get different looks. Um, but I try to keep them very consistent and not play around with them too much because if I did, I would never get any of my work done. So that can be kind of an issue. But, you know, that's what we do from there. Uh, if I wanted it to be a black and white, this is my absolute favorite black and white, um, is this one that I've included. And I tend to have it as a basic. And then some in images I need to um, tweak it a little bit. Some I don't, I'm just gonna play around with it. Um, and then that becomes my black and white and I can export it as that as well if I want to. Mm -hmm. So try not to get too involved in it. Um, Cause once I start editing, I do have to have a lot of fun while I'm doing it. Um, and so that's why I did go to having these presets. Uh, so I don't get too distracted uh, in terms of my workflow because it is kind of fun to just play around. However, in the essence of time and managing your studio correctly and efficiently, uh, presets are really the way to go. I did also, <clears throat> excuse me, I did also include this warm shadows one um, where uh, either color or black and white, uh, you can have a more of a warm tone, which for some things I do really, really like. Uh, so this is my next image. Uh, this is the straight out of camera. Uh, then I hit deep. That makes it pop just a little bit more. Um, and then if I wanted to make it a little warmer, I could click on that. It's probably a little orange for this. Uh, so I can go down and let's see. So what this warm shadows does is it actually takes this color which is that um, gold tone um, and just puts it in the shadows just a little bit and i can bring the saturation down just a tad and i really like the look of this as compared to this so i would export it as that so these are my fav my favorite five ones um, I package them all together. Uh, you can use them as they are, or you can tweak them as you like. Uh, but sometimes it's really nice to just be able to go in, click on a button, uh, and be able to export it for your client. I hope that helps. And if you have any questions, uh, you can email me at hannah at stonehousephoto.com, or you could just purchase the presets in the link below. Thanks a lot.